Now, I'd like to, um, to give these expressions like uh, variable placeholders. Um, and then introduce the uh, fundamental input output, the fundamental national accounting ac uh, um, identity. Okay, imports are usually labeled M and exports are labeled X. Intermediate consumption is labeled T. Now, final consumption, I said, is, is everything that um, households and governments uh, buy. Now, um, final consumption is um, in this sense similar to gross capital formation. Why? Final consumption is always final in the sense that it is never being used to produce anything else. But for the current year, gross capital formation is also final because in that year it is not used to produce anything else. So normally these two are combined into what's called final demand. Or why? Now, and if you're dealing with just the accounts of one country, also exports are final. Why are exports final? Because they leave the country and after that we don't see them anymore. So for the purposes of the accounting period and of that country, exports are final. So all of this is final demand and, and, that, is, and that is why. Okay? Okay, and that is uh, domestic output. We had this already. Uh, domestic uses. Okay. Next. So here you can see how I'll do this. Here you can see that this is a detailed breakdown of the way. Um, the, um, the, the, the output of an economy is consumed by people. But how is it produced? Let's disaggregate this side also a bit further. Because, um, let's wipe this. And this side here, um, for example, let's see who provides um, who provides the domestic inputs? You know? That can either be producers or it can be households. How can this be? Um, for example, if you have an average company, they could, besides importing inputs for their, for their production, they also source um, operating inputs from domestic companies, like for example, uh, fuel or stationery, paper, just about everything. So um, they have also um, intermediate uh, inputs from, from uh, companies operating in the domestic economy. But also what they need is they need people to work for them. That means they need to, need to pay them wages. Right? Also, they need the government to, for example, create a regulatory environment for them, and that's what they pay taxes for. And plus, um, they, need, they need capital input so that they can pay for the machinery or for the depreciation. Right? And all that, um, we're going to write down on this left-hand side. So we're going to write wages. Oh, I, should, I should have written that up the top. I'll write it up the top so it's more consistent. Intermediate input, right? Wages plus um, surplus plus taxes. I explain that. So, this is what what your average company needs. They might import from abroad. They need to pay wages. They need they need to draw on a surplus from somewhere because they have to compensate depreciation and buying 
new, new, um, new capital. They rely on the government for the regulatory environment, so they need to pay taxes. And they need to, to buy intermediate inputs. Okay? That's the, it's the input side, and that's the output side. Okay, let's write that down. So there's wages, plus surplus, um, plus taxes, and intermediate inputs. Okay. Mm, that's it. Now, within, if you look at this not by sector, but for the whole of an economy, then you could say, for this intermediate consumption term, what everybody delivers as an intermediate input to everybody else is the same, it's the same amount as what is received by all the companies from everybody else, because it just gets shoved in, be in between uh, uh, companies. So these two terms is actually cancel out. Okay. For, for an entire economy. And then this here is called V, that's value added, plus imports equals final demand, whoops, final demand plus exports. This is the national accounting identity and it's the fundamental identity of all input output, input output analysis. This here is also called, see, if you add over all sectors, this is called GDP, and this is also called GNE, or Gross National Expenditure. Okay, so you have the connection. Gross domestic product plus imports equals gross national expenditure plus exports. That's the fundamental balance. And as an okay. okay, this is lecture one. <laughs>